guys, uh, if you can see here at my back, this is my homemade incubator. And many have asked me how to improvise a homemade incubator. If you have sufficient capital, then I advise that you will buy the digital, the one that is available in the market. But if uh, you are run short of capital and you really wanted to start with this uh, business, you can just make an incubator, an improvised incubator with the same effect, with the same uh, result with that of the commercial incubator. Now, this is made of a plywood and as you can see here, this incubator will can load up to 2,000 eggs. So I have three uh, incubators that can load uh, 2,000 uh, eggs. So all in all, I can load uh, 6,000 eggs in a day. So this is how it is made. I am going to show to you. So this is very important in order to control the heat. This is the insulator. So you need to put this so that the heat will not uh, will be concentrated inside. It will not come out. And be sure that and uh, this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 layers. This homemade thing, incubator, for, for you guys. So, please, uh, as you can see here, there are four. One, two, three, four, five, six bulbs, incandescent light incandescent light and this is 25 watts and you need to put some air electric fan that's electric fan i have three electric fans to bring up the heat so that the heat will revolve inside so this is it and of course you have to put some exhaust I have here the exhaust here, exhaust, the exhaust here, and the heat from the bottom will go up and then you have the exhaust. So this is the thermometer, this is very important because the heat required is 100 degrees Fahrenheit for this eggs to be hatched. So, it is very important for you to know the temperature and once you have reached the desired heat which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit you will you will adjust the thermostat if you can see here I have attached the thermostat here so you see if you have the thermostat that is set on 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it will automatically off if it will reach 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that will automatically shut off because of the thermostat has been set to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now when the incubator becomes cool, that the temperature is already below the 100 degrees Fahrenheit it will automatically switch on because of the thermostat and this is just very simple if if you don't know this you can just hire an electrician but what is important is that you have a, a bulb incandescent lamp that is 25 watts and then you have the thermostat and of course you have that thermometer and the electric fan and this is the only thing you need and you can do it yourself and start this duck business and one thing more if you are making a homemade incubator be sure that the back portion of it there is a space so that the the air can can go up there is a space here space here so that the air can go up so this how simple it is you can do it yourself this is an incubator electric fan we have the light bulbs 25 watts 
one, two, three, four, five, six light bulbs with three electric fans, and you can already have a good hatch of your eggs. Now, the technique is since this is not digital, from time to time, you have to, to move the eggs. And it is very important, since this is not an automatic incubator, this is homemade incubator, so this is manual, meaning every, every day you have to move the eggs to different positions to prevent the ducklings to stick in one portion of the eggs, or to stick at the shell. So you have to move and change the position of the eggs three times a day. This is very important. Because if you will not do it, the tendency is that the, the duckling inside will stick to the shell. So, you have to move the position three times a day. So, this is very important. Like that. Move this in the morning. Move this in the noon time. And... In the, later in the afternoon so I I also put some eggs of the chicken and uh, as you can see there's a perfect hatch yes yeah newly hatched chicks here perfect it's perfect so the new load will be put at the bottom this is the latest we'll put at the bottom and then you will adjust it on the following day you have the to load again another batch of eggs so this one will be placed at the second and then the new the new eggs will be placed at the bottom and so on and so forth because when the eggs is in the, inside the incubator for 15 days they will have a natural heat inside meaning that the, the eggs after it reaches 15 days inside the incubator then it will be put at the top because they need lesser heat because the eggs now have already a, a, a built-in a natural heat inside so the new load of eggs will be placed at the bottom and the old eggs loaded will be placed at the top I hope that you were enlightened and of course guys if you have some questions please leave your comment below and if possible you can subscribe to this channel so that I can answer all your queries that is not very clear about this video you can just put your comment and I would be willing to answer all your queries so again this bulb is connected to the thermostat and the thermostat will regulate the heat which is the, the desired heat which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit I hope this video will open up your mind and uh, will allow you to have a good business of duck farming so thank you and please don't forget to subscribe only here at Dexter's World <music>